Do you want to know how to update your style? I want to share some wardrobe updates that you can use and apply for your own wardrobe. These tips will help you to look more fashion forward and more put together and elevate your look. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share 8 tips on how to elevate your style and make yourself look more fashion forward. Have you ever felt like your wardrobe did not represent who you are or who you want to be? Have you ever tried to recreate an Instagrammer's outfit but you felt like you couldn't pull it off? Or have you ever felt frustrated when putting together an outfit? Now I want to share some tips on how to elevate your style and how to look more fashion forward. These tips are meant to be applied to your own personal wardrobe and to make you look more fashion forward. I am not trying to tell you what to wear and what not to wear because everyone has their own style and their own personality but what we do want is to take our existing wardrobes and just elevate them. If you are new here today, I would love for you to subscribe if you like fashion and style tips because that is what my channel is all about and if you want to know more about these topics, then please hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a video. Starting with my number one tip and that is something that you have probably already heard if you watched videos on that topic because it is the most basic out of all but it is really important so let's just get it right out of the way and it is to start with your underwear. Now research shows that a woman probably wears four to three bras out of her entire collection and the rest is just sitting in a drawer and never being used. And if you're feeling guilty right now then you should because if you are like that and I am like that as well then we need to take a look at our underwear meaning we need something that we feel comfortable in we feel supported in and that goes well with our clothes so think about your favorite underwear like those three bras you rotate between or four or five or ten however it is that you rotate between Think about what they have in common, what is similar. Do you like the fit? Do you like the style? Do you like the color? Do you like that it goes so seamlessly? Do you like that it does not have any underwiring? And if that is the case, then just throw everything in the bin that does not have that. Because you need to invest in those things that you're actually going to wear. We don't have the space for things in our wardrobe that we don't wear. So if you have anything like that, then just get it out of the way, invest in multiples of your favorite bra but then you are good to go and you know that you have something that is going to support you and if that is straight then everything that is going to sit on top will look better the second tip i want to talk about are outdated clothes and what i mean by that is you should really pay attention to your clothes are they really flattering on you do they really suit you for example i recently sold a coat of mine which was a gray basic coat i'm going to pop a picture on right here and nothing was wrong with that coat like it was a nice style it was a classic silhouette it was a classic color the material was good but it just didn't do anything for me. But the truth is, it didn't really make me feel like a million dollars when I walked out the door. What I mean by that is I have my Ted Baker coat, which you probably all know, so I'm going to pop a picture of me wearing it on the screen for those of you who don't. But if you compare these two coats, one is just really simple and basic and there's nothing wrong with it. And the other one is really flattering and elevating. And no matter what I wear underneath, the coat is what you see first. And with that in mind, Go to your closet, go to your coat cabin and just look around whether they are actually still flattering on you or maybe you just bought them because you thought you needed them but actually you don't really. The next tip I want to talk about is something I think I've mentioned before on my channel and that is care for your clothes. Now it doesn't matter how much money you spend on it if you have a trench coat from Zara or one from Burberry. If you're not going to treat it well, it's going to look rubbish. We're currently in the autumn winter months, so that means it's a good time to talk about knitwear. So let's just take that as an example. If you have a jumper or a sweater that you love, then look at it. Does it start to bubble? Does it have holes? Does it have anything in it that you maybe need to mend? And if so, then do that. If you can't do it, then just replace it because there is 
is no need to wear anything that looks worn and tarnished. For example, knitwear that starts to bubble, you can use a bubble off to erase that. I'm going to insert a clip right here so you see what I mean. But those tips will help you to make your beloved knitwear look always fresh and polished and like it is something that you just added to your wardrobe and not something that you have been wearing on rotation for years. There's nothing wrong with doing that, you just don't really want to show it. Tip number four is to always stay on top of your shoe game and what I mean by that is look at your shoes and see whether they maybe need some love and care, whether they are dirty, maybe they have been worn a lot and they just don't look as fresh and new anymore. Sometimes you can clean them and spruce them up a little bit and they will look just fine again. But if not, then that does not mean you can't wear these anymore. But maybe you just want to think about the shoes that you like to wear the most and then maybe replace those. For example, I have a pair of shoes that I love and I have bought this, I think, three years ago and I bought these when the Chloe Susanna boot was totally in style and I think it still is in style but these were my little knockoffs and now they look totally tarnished and worn out and there's just nothing pretty about them anymore and whenever I put them on I ended up taking them off instead because they just brought down the whole look. So what I did instead was to invest in a shoe that was really similar. I know that I love the style and I'm going to get the wear out of it, but it just looks more updated and it just looks fresh and new again and it makes me love this style so much, but it does also elevate my look. And this is something that is really important. So if your shoes look dirty, tarnished, then give them a clean. And if that does not help, maybe consider replacing your favorite pair. The next tip I want to talk about is something that I did when I moved house. Because when I was moving, I pretty much just took out all the clothes that I loved the most, that were literally my favorites, and just took them with me in my suitcase. Now that was the first load of clothes that I took with me because I know that I just wanted to have these. But what you want to do now is look at the remaining things in your closet. This is different to a normal closet clear out because then you're like, okay, I like this, maybe I don't like this anymore. And what you want to do now is to look at each piece. Each of these pieces need a specific reason as to why you should keep them. Maybe they're a costume and you need them for the next festival if ever there's going to be one. Maybe they are sentimental and you do really, really want to keep these. Maybe these are the type of clothes that you need for specific activities. For example, if you're going to riding or if you have a hobby that requires a specific clothing, then you can keep it. But if you can't think of a specific reason as to why you should keep a piece that is not one of your absolute favorites, then it is time to get rid of it and make place for something new. My next tip is to literally elevate yourself. Swap trainers, for boots. Not only will this make you look more elegant and put together, but it will also improve your posture. This little heel will give you a height boost, which will resolve in a better posture and your overall appearance will look more put together and more sophisticated. And it's just the overall reflection you give to others that will improve. My next tip is to swap jeans for leather leggings. Now this applies especially to the season that we're in right now because I think these are perfect for autumn and winter but in general I mean swap jeans with different types of trousers because jeans are just that wardrobe staple that basic that everyone has but if you want to look more fashion forward and updated then swap this basic pair of trousers for something that is just a little bit different and leather leggings are the perfect example for me because if you wear something basic on top for example a t-shirt or a jumper then it will just look a hundred times better with leather leggings because it will be a fashion statement and that way your whole appearance will look like it is something you really thought about whereas jeans always look like you just put on something and went with it and my last and final tip is the one that was the complete game changer for me and that is to search for style icons. If you want your style to look updated and really sophisticated, you want it to be really cohesive, you want your wardrobe to mix and match. And what I mean by that is search one style that you want. And whenever you buy something new, you're going to think 
will it suit that style for example personally i've always loved the audrey hepburn style or the blair waldorf style and whenever i buy something i'm like would blair wear it would audrey hepburn wear it and if you're not so much into movie stars then maybe search for youtubers your favorite influencers for example when i buy things i think of my favorite influencers and ask myself would they wear it would it match in their wardrobe and if the answer is yes then i'll buy it for example, when I buy something, I think of my favorite influencers who are Josie, Freddie, Gabby, Grace, all of these people. And if I think every one of those would actually like these clothes, then the answer is yes, and I'm going to buy it. And that way I know my style is really cohesive and everything in my wardrobe will go together and it will make putting outfits together a whole lot easier. So guys, these are my top tips on how to elevate your wardrobe. If you like this video, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any new uploads and it really means the world to me to see that you want to come back. And then I will say see you next time. Bye!